Look it up on YouTube. All right, welcome back. We are doing our list from Gen 2 now of our five favorite Pokemon. We are each going down the row. We're giving our five favorites because we can never come to a consensus where everything's made up and the points don't matter. So that's that's just let's jump right into it. Gen 2, awesome Gen, one of the best. Let's jump right into it. And Don is taking it from here, number one, mm -hmm. so, or at number five. He's taking over this Gen. So I'm... go ahead. Number five. My number five, starting off with Bang. It's probably like my only favorite legendary, I gotta say. Hold on, let me see. Whatever. <laughs> it's Luigi. I mean, Lug <laughs> Lugia. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you so much. Go Lugia. Go Lugia. I just, I just really like Lugia's design. And the baby Lugia from the movie. That one's cool. Doesn't make any sense, but hey, it's cool. Baby and Lugia that, was on the TV show, not the movie. Yeah. Really? I thought it was yeah. a movie. No. Okay, just kidding. Lugia had Lugia. And he could talk. <laughs> Which was still strange. Still. Still cool. Dance. Doesn't make any sense. Still cool. Oh, her uh, in comparison to ho -Ho, way better. ho, -Ho was terrible. Oh, Looking. Yeah, he just had that. Booster, chicken, thingamajig. He's cool cool for Coco Pops. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Lugia, Lugia, Lugia is a bamf, but why does he have like fingers? Yeah. Why well, does he fingers? Why not, man? Well, isn't he supposed so to be a point. bird thing? A dragon bird kind? I don't know. I don't fucking know. Still he cool. Controls. He is cool. He's yeah, awesome. Gosh. He controls yeah. the legendary birds. He's also a player too in Super Mario Bros. <laughs> and next up, I popcorn Kyle. <laughs> okay. Um. Blah. <laughs> I hate okay. you so much. <laughs> okay, my, my number five pick is probably one of the coolest things in uh, Gen 2 is that we got two new types. And how do we ring in steel? Well, we did a whole bunch of stuff. We made Magnemite steel type, for one. <laughs> but then we made Scizor! I mean, let's face it. Everyone loved Cypher when they were... Or, First genning it, and they were like, "Dude, it's a prank, man! It's got side for hands. That's freaking awesome!" And then here we are. Let's make him even cooler. Let's make him a steel type. He's got his design was already pretty awesome, but now it's all slick and steel, and it's he's got scissors for hands and scissors just rad. Or you guys pronounce or. Who pronounced it Sizor for a while? Not me. Nope, I don't That's know anybody who ever did that. Don calls him Skizzer. Yeah, I call him Skizzer. <laughs> okay. Well, in any case, mine's Scissor. Yay. Go, Yay. uh, Matt. All right, um... My number five, I actually changed it since last time anybody looked at these lists, so please don't be mad at me, Ricky. But, uh... <gasps> <laughs> my number five is Octillery. I really like Octillery. Octopuses are right up there with lizards for me. They're not quite that, not quite that cool. But I think octopuses are really cool. They're really interesting. They're very smart. And Octillery is just really cool. He's he's an octopus, obviously, and he's a water type who has his own specific move, which isn't very good. But he can also learn flamethrower, and I think that's awesome. <laughs> Because he's a water type, and that makes absolutely no sense. But he's supposed to be like a tank, I guess. I, I can see it. He's got like he's putting like his fisty cups up when he's <laughs> like in his sprite, and I think that I think that's neat. I think Octillery, He's really he's kind of silly looking, but that's just octopuses. And I, Did I you just invent the high. best new word I've ever heard in my life? Fisticuffs. What? Fisticuffs? Fisticuffs? Because he's got <laughs> suction cups because he's an octopus? <laughs> That's not what I... I fist, you don't know what fisticuffs are? I just... I'm going to use that. Okay, okay well... Alright. Anyway, Octillery's really cool. Don't know why he evolves from Rimmer Raid. Who's a, Nobody knows. Who's a Apparently because he's a gun. No, jo no, Josh. No, that's I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if that's the explanation you've heard. It still makes exactly zero sense. But artillery is really cool. Love him a lot. Go ahead, Ricky. 
Push All right. Me by. Yeah. Yeah. You know it. All right. My number five pick on this list <laughs> is Crobat. I think Crobat is a vamp. I, I always liked, you know, obviously I don't like running into them constantly. <laughs> but I always thought Zubat and Golbat were cool. I miss Golbat's tongue. I thought that made him a little more unique than just having a big black hole for a mouth. But hey, we got Crobat, and he's even cooler than either of them because he's all purple, which matches a little better with that whole poison thing that he's got going for him. And uh, he's he just he just he's he's the first of that line to actually look menacing. You know, uh, if I saw Zubat in a cave, I would be like, oh. If I saw Golbat in a cave, I would be like, ha ha ha. If I, if I was just, like, exploring and I saw Crobat, I would be like, shit! You know, I want to get <laughs> what out the of fuck there. is that thing? Yeah, but I just think he's really cool looking. And he's really, really good. Like, Golbat was not very... You would never competitively use Golbat, but Crobat's awesome. He's got a bitch and speed stat and pretty decent attacking stats. I mean, they're not great, but they're both usable. So, yeah, uh, he's got a nice move pool. He can learn Heat Wave, which makes no fucking sense at all. But... Mine has Heat Wave. I know. Yeah. A lot of them do. Because uh, it's just a great attack. But anyway, I think Crobat's rad. He's my number five. So let's hear it, Josh. All right. My number five is Ampharos. Uh, I really only began to appreciate his design a while ago. And I have to say, it's pretty awesome that just that made it all the way to number five in my Generation 2 list. I don't know what it is about this guy, but he's a really good mix of goofy and badass. I really like that. <clears throat> he is right. awesome. Uh, popcorn. He's an electric giraffe, man. Yeah. He's awesome. Is he supposed to be a giraffe? Yeah, I thought yeah. he was a sheep. Well, well he, because... Mareep is a sheep, and Flappy well, yeah. is a sheep. Mareep so, is so a sheep. So why does he evolve into a giraffe? Because it's why awesome. Not? Look at him. Oh. Yeah. All right, whatever. Why does Remoraid evolve into artillery? We've I, been over. This. Okay, all right. We all right. Um, all right. Popcorn. Who didn't go? Everybody went. So it's you. Get, okay. You get the pop, floor. Popcorn, Matt, because he's talking right now. <laughs> number four. Oh, okay. Funny you should do that because uh, my number four is actually a giraffe as well. Wait, I didn't know there were two in this gen until a few seconds ago. My number four is giraffe rig. Giraffe Rig, as a kid, was probably my absolute favorite from this gen because he's got a chain chop on his butt, and that's cool. Yeah. But beyond that, I just think his design is really cool. He's got, like, he's split down the middle. He's got the, the brown half and the yellow half, and then the spots changed accordingly. He's got, like, spikes on his back. He's got, like, antennae. He looks, he, he looks kind of alien, but at the same time, he's a giraffe, and you could tell he's supposed to be a giraffe because Giraffe Rig is his name. <laughs> and he's got like an interesting gimmick with the normal psychic thing. He he can't uh, can't be hit by ghost types, which yeah. was uh, you know the what they were weak. Type. I'll use Shadow Ball. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. That was Damn me it. playing Coliseum too. Like every single time, I'd be like, "Oh, psychic type Shadow Ball." Fuck. <laughs> the, the that un- was me. The unfortunate thing with Draft Rig is he's not very good, and um, that. That kind of sucks, but uh, design alone, I love him. He's one of my absolute favorites from this gen, probably one of my favorites of all time. I wish he could evolve and be better, because I think we could really go a long way with that gimmick. Mm-hmm. And uh, I just, he's really neat. His name's a portmanteau. I like saying no, the word portmanteau. No, it's not. No? No, it's not. It's a palindrome. It's a palindrome. I'm going to look like a dumbass <laughs> for the rest of my life. <laughs> Lots I took of school. Ones are portmanteaus. Yeah, giraffe rig is not. Well, it might be, but it's that's not what I was going for. Anyway, giraffe rig's awesome. I had one in my first playthrough of Silver when I played <laughs> as a kid, and I sh- probably shouldn't have because he's not very good. Anyway, go ahead, Don. What's your number four? My number four was similar to yours. Like uh, back as a kid, back when I was a kid, like I would just be headbutting trees and shit just for I don't know. Just for kicks. And then I ran into Ipom. This monkey and shit that has a hand for a tail. Not. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you were right. I don't know why it's... you were trying to correct yourself. Well, I wanted to make a mistake, like a verbal typo, but like <laughs> flaming monkey for a butt. I couldn't do it. Flaming monkey for a butt. 
Um, Except you said it correctly, so yeah. there, it's a verbal yeah, typo. Okay, I was trying to, I was trying to make a mistake, man, on purpose. <laughs> but you screwed Maybe up. You said it right. God. Well, anyway, I can't even make mistakes right. Now. <laughs> <laughs> A-pom, Ipom's awesome. really, yeah, or Apom. I say Ipom because. Oh, sorry, I wasn't trying to correct you. I was trying to get back on topic. But we could talk about that for a few minutes if you like. Sure. <laughs> so, well, the monkey in fucking Super Monkey Ball is called I I, and you can tell me it's A A. All right, I don't know. Oh, well, it, come on. <laughs> yeah, it, they no, pronounced it A Pom on the show. Oh, well, they're retarded. Also, it's <laughs> Japanese. It's Japanese doesn't have the character A. It has the character E, which would be A Pom. Ah, but well, I'm still saying I pop. That's fine, dude. I'm not and trying to correct you. I'm or saying anything. Skizzer too. I'm also saying melodic. <laughs> I'm not correcting you, man. Do your okay. thing, bro. Okay. All right. Um, this is a cute little cold monkey it evolves into Ami Pom, which is also really good. But this one has roots in my childhood because I was surprised to find it in a tree, and it was. Really cool Pokemon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I like yeah. him on the show. He wore Ash's hat. Yeah, he That's kept it. stealing it. He's a thief. That's it. So, right. yeah. Since you're uh, talking right now, Ricky, right. I'm calling Ricky. Alrighty. My number four pick is one of my all-time favorites. I think he's awesome. His name is Heracross. Oh, I, yeah. I think the idea of like a, a Hercules beetle is just really cool, and I think Heracross is very well designed, very powerful looking. Uh, the bug fighting combination is awesome, and at least it was unique at the time. It might still be, I'm, I'm not sure. But, uh, I think it is. Yeah, I feel like yeah, it is. I, I, I've always liked Heracross ever since I first saw him. I think he's awesome. Uh, he's really, really powerful, even more so. He's a threat now that they invented Choice Scarf and 4th Gen. Oh, yeah. Um, I just I think he's really cool. Well, and they so, gave him some cool abilities. They gave him Third guts, game. which is the best ability ever. Yeah, exactly. They gave him I've cool got the guts. So yeah. Do you know? That's my that's my number four pick. I don't have much else to say. <clears throat> Who else has to go? <laughs> Kyle and. Josh? I think I still have to go. Kyle and Josh. Yeah. yeah. I I picked Josh last time, so let's go. Let's go, Kyle. Okay. My number four pick, for absolutely no discernible reason, no, there's a discernible reason, but it's Pilos Wine. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're Pilos Wine cover. Well, this was, this was clearly a step in the right direction to make Mamos Wine, and Mamos Wine's awesome too. But uh, you know, for a long time, it was just Pilos Wine, and you know what, Pilos Wine is. He's really, really cool. Ice Ground is a great type because they're two very offensively apt types. And he just wrecks, anyways. He's got fur cover in his eyes. I think that's cool. I remember when me and Kyle were like still playing this game when it first came out. Anyway, I remember Kyle had a pilot swine on his team like when we were first battling when Gold and Silver first came out, and it was pretty good. So, so yeah, nice pick, Kyle. Yeah, nah, bro. Josh. All right. My number four is Scissor. Probably the most badass bug type, I think. Uh, back then, it was hard to even imagine that Scyther could be much better. And it, here we are. Uh, I think he only has better defenses, and he's a little slower, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway. But he uh, ran with those better defenses. Hell his typing yeah. is so great. Defense. Except, except for that pesky fire weakness. Yeah, but you gotta just you gotta deal with that because he's not weak to anything else. Yeah. Yep. It's his only weakness. So I think that's a fair trade. He's a yeah. boss defensively. I really like his design, and I really don't know what else to say about this guy. But I'm sure that Kyle pretty much summed it up with his number five. Yeah, I love Scissor. Yeah. He's awesome. I actually have a tiny short story I want to share about Scissor if we're. Willing to hear it. Oh, um, <clears throat> when Gold and Silver first, when Gold and Silver first came out, I remember, like the day it came out, I had a friend over. He didn't have it yet, and I had both Gold and Silver, and like, I had him over to show him the games and stuff. And we were looking through the strategy guide, and uh, 
they had like a mini Pokedex section in the back, and I was showing some of the new Pokemon. And I was like, "Oh, check this guy out! It's a new evolution for Scyther." And uh, he said, "Oh, that's tight." And I distinctly remember that was the first time I ever heard anybody use the word "tight" like that. And I was like, "What the? Heck? What are you talking about?" <laughs> and I felt like a tool. Um, you know, this was like fifth grade or whatever. But well, that was the first time. Clearly, that was when "tight" was just getting that meaning. So that makes him the tool. That's tight. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the only one who still says that. So, <laughs> is it for that reason? <laughs> partly because, yeah, that's partly why. But I just think it's a it's a funny word. I like to keep old words around. Ironically, I still call things red. So, anyway, <laughs> all right. Uh, moving on. I popcorn Don. Popcorn me, you say? Yes. Well. Number three! My number three is, of course, a starter Pokemon. I mentioned before that like, I like to... or In my list, I generally have one starter Pokemon. Mm-hmm. And that one is Cyndaquil because it's cute and it's got fire on its back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was really cool as a kid. It was my starter Pokemon that I started with. And I called it Backfire. I'm so clever. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. That is clever. Mm-hmm. It is and actually. Then, I didn't think of that at all. It, it evolves into some ugly thing and slightly less ugly thing. But Hey, Typhlosion's <laughs> awesome. Quilava's, so was Quilava. Quilava's a mess. I don't get it. Yeah, he's on all fours for some reason, and he's got two flippers. Well, yeah, so Cyndaquil. So not on all fours. Yeah, he's, he's standing on his hind legs and hunched over here. But he could be, I guess. Yeah, he could be. Still, not a fan of cool lava. Typhlosion looks all right. I'm I, okay with Typhlosion. I think Typhlosion's cool. He's really good, too. He's awesome. But Cyndaquil, it's got that cute factor. And that's about it. That's all I gotta say. Let's okay. popcorn. Let's popcorn. Okay. Hmm. Big, big. Oh, <laughs> big. oh, I know. I know this. I'm asking you with my brain. <laughs> um, I pick you, Ricky. I choose you. My number three is Cyndaquil. Um, <laughs> I see what you did I, there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Don did this in the last <laughs> room order. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. I just, I've, I've always had just such a soft spot for Tyndacle. I, I feel like Don and I are sort of in the minority, actually, because on the internet, uh, Totodile has this huge, like, following. People think he's awesome and drawing, right. wearing sunglasses and stuff. And, like, Totodile is awesome. He's totally badass. I love crocodiles. He's awesome. But Tyndacle's always been my favorite. I feel like with the starters for Gen 2, there was Chikorita, who was, like, super cute. And there was Totodile, who was, like, super badass. And I think Cyndaquil was, like, the middle ground. Like, he's really cute, but also kind of badass. Because he's got fire coming out of his back, you know? And I just think he's an interesting idea for a Pokemon. I love that he's the only fire starter who is not orange. Like, honestly, <laughs> the fire on him is orange, but he's primarily, like, that dark green color and the flesh color. And I think that's awesome. I want to encourage that. You know, they're fire starters, and that's why Cyndaquil has always really stuck out to me. I love him. I think he's super cute. I love Typhlosion. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Kolava, but I don't hate him. What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> he's just weird. I don't understand. He has a mohawk. Yeah, he he's, he's got middle form syndrome pretty bad, I think. I don't hate him. I just He's totally my least favorite of that line. But Cyndaquil's my favorite. He's my third favorite from second gen. Love him. So, there's that. What do you got, Matt? Um, my number three is Kingdra. Um, in first gen, Horsey and Cedra, they're not bad, but they don't really do anything for me. They're just kind of there. They're, they're just okay. Kingdra is a bamf. Okay. <laughs> Water Dragon is a fantastic type, and Kingdra pulls it off so well. He can be a wall. He can pretty much be whatever you want him to be. He's just, he's really good. And He's 90 across the board, isn't he? Yeah, he's so, yeah. he's a really, really good Pokemon, and he's really cool looking. He's very elegant, but he's kind of, he, he looks old, like he looks ancient. Like you could find yeah. him back in, 
I don't know, the prehistoric era. Like he he looks a lot different than than uh, Horsey and Cedric to me for some reason. And I've just always I've always liked that about him. I think he's he's got really good typing. He's one of my favorite dragon types, even though he's a seahorse. Go figure. <laughs> and he he just really good, really cool looking. I don't know what else to say about King Dry. I think he's awesome. I think it's because the Japanese word for seahorse like involves the word dragon inside of it. Just yeah. like Tat- Tatsunoko, the company, um, their logo is like a seahorse, and it's like Tatsu means. No, it, it, it's Kingdra itself is based off of a species of seahorse that's called a sea dragon. Well, there you go. Yeah. Also, it's got Swift Swim. And, Which is uh, beast. Vidian that's Marine. really good on Kingdra. Because yeah. King- Kingdra doesn't necessarily have the speed to pull off, like. Sp- being really good, but once you get Swift Swim on it and you get some rain up, Kingdra can wreck. And it can set up a substitute set and just d- and just take out your whole team just by being awesome. So anyway, that's Kingdra. Did everybody already go for number three? I think no. I still have to go. And Kyle, I guess. <laughs> oh, so nobody went. Alright, uh, go ahead, Kyle. What's your number three? My number three is Zatu. I mean, come on. He's got an X Zatu. in his name. What? He's got an X in his name. He's got an X in his name. <laughs> At the beginning of it, even. Yeah, that's cool. If for no other reason than to say we have a Pokemon, its name begins with X. Yep. So now you can go down the list and you can go... You, you can alphabetize your Pokemon. Haha. In any case, but really, Zatu, based off of... I don't even know what he's based off of, but I know it's awesome. A bird. <laughs> he does look like... He, he's he kind of like, like a totem, totem pole. pole. A totem pole. or something, doesn't he? Like, he's got, like, markings Yeah, on. that's what it is. He looks like he's off of hieroglyphs. Like, he's based off of, like, uh... Like, he could easily be Horus or something. Yeah, I dig that about Zatu. I always... Honestly, I, I like, thought he looked like the top of a totem pole, man. Yeah, me too. Or that. Oh, yeah, well, too. see, no matter what you do, it's ancient E. Yeah, he definitely... He looks like... He, he looks like something, like, Native American, kind of. Yeah, yeah, but the eye is is the is very Egyptian. Yeah, it, it could go either way. But anyway, explain why you like him. We're not going to debate his origins. Well, that's why. Oh, okay. It's it's mostly his design because that's it, honestly this is one of the coolest looking bird Pokemon we have. Period. I I agree. End I think story. he's awesome. Z- Zatu as a kid, he was one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. I thought Natu was really cute, but like. Didn't what well, nothing really special about him, but once he evolved, like he turns into this really unique looking Pokemon, and like at the time, I think wasn't that a unique typing, psychic flying? Wasn't that well, so sort of Lugia's psychic flying, well, which is the same gen. Oh, right. He's a he's a legendary. Yeah. He don't count. He's and, first in the <laughs> Pokedex. <laughs> yeah, that's. But in, that's... Any, in any case, there was also only one place you could get him. That was in the ancient ruins. Of right. Elf. Yeah. The ruins of Alf. <laughs> And that was that was neat. Zatu's cool, man. That's a good pick. I think I think more people should like yeah. Zatu. I think he's underrated. Yeah, man. I think he, I think he needs to evolve. I I said that when we did the evolution video. I know, but you I agree. I agree. Put him on our next list. I agree with you. Well, I don't think he needed to be in the top ten, but I agree that he needs to evolve. Evolve. Because <laughs> Josh, you're the last one for three, right? I think. Go Unless, ahead. All right. Uh, my number three is for Alligator. Everything but the stunted name is badass. Tatadile's cute and Crocodile's badass, but for Alligator just turns the dial up to 11. He's kind of ugly, but I think that just adds to how awesome he is. It's, I kind of like his ugliness, yeah. It's yeah. Like a it's a hunchback. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. does have that hump on his back, doesn't he? Yeah. I always forget about that. Yeah, for Alligator's really cool, but for Alligator... He's a piece of shit. Pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, yeah. so I get to popcorn whoever. Yeah. 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 All right, let's go, Ricky. Number two. All right, so let me let me just preface this number two by saying, for the most part, I don't like baby Pokemon. I think for the most part they're unnecessary. Yeah, they add new moves and stuff, and they it is cool to see like the entire life cycle of Pokemon because they're not just you know, 
They're not just supposed to be killing machines. They, they, are, they <laughs> do have life cycles. But most of the time, I think baby Pokemon are really unnecessary. Except for much like. That said, my second favorite from second gen is Elekid. Because look at this fucking oh, guy. Oh, yeah. He oh, is a yeah. boss. Look, just look at him. He's, he's, he's cute. He's badass. He's adorable. He's badass. I just... <laughs> He's got a he's got a plug for a head and a lightning bolt on his chest, and he's got like these like Popeye arms that like in the anime I remember he would like spin around and they would make electricity. It was just he's so cool. I can't help but love Elekid. He's by far my favorite baby Pokemon. Nothing else even comes close. Munchlax is awesome. Pichu's cute, but Elekid number one with a bullet for me. I think he's awesome and totally my second favorite. Uh, from okay. gold and silver. So, I choose... Pick me. John. <laughs> Funny you should pick me. <laughs> <laughs> How ironic. This yeah. is the theme we have going here. <laughs> My number two is Magby. Just kidding. It's actually <laughs> LP. <laughs> it's Smoochum. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Nightmares. <laughs> For like pretty much the same reasons that Ricky has previously mentioned, this guy's a badass. The one of the few acceptable baby Pokemon. And this is it's he's the best. The plug for a head, that's cool. The the design overall is just like really memorable and really cool. So yeah. I like El Kid. He's my number t- number two as well. Ella Ki- five. Ella Kid's five. awesome. He came really close to being on my list. He was the one I was apologizing at the beginning to Ricky for because Ricky was all like, "Oh, you better have Ella Kid on your list," and I was like, "Okay, no shoot." So I put, <laughs> okay. I put I put him at number five, and then I thought about it, and I just I'm sorry. I like Octillery better, Ricky. It's, it's okay. I hate you forever. It's <laughs> I like Ella Kid too. He's definitely in my top ten for Gen two. Not allowed on my brain couch anymore. <laughs> I'll go sleep on somebody else's brain out. Locking it up. Don, does yours have a pull out bed? <laughs> huh? Say what? Does your brain couch brain have a pull out get bed? Uh no. Damn it. <sighs> moving Sorry. on. Alright, uh, picks pick somebody right, Don. Moving on. Uh I'm gonna go with Matt because I don't I don't think I've picked you in a while. Oh, Alright. Um my number two is Crobat. Uh, somebody who's already been on this list, and there's really not much I could get into here. Crobat is my favorite poison-type Pokemon. I think he's really cool. Bats are really cool. Bats are probably my second favorite Pokemon behind... Or, Pokemon? Yeah, bats. My <laughs> Bats are probably my second favorite animal behind lizards. So, obviously, I really like Zubat a lot. Ricky already said he's really cute. Crobat kind of sucks. He was on our list for a reason. Kind of sucks. You but, just said... Crobat kind of sucks. I want you to know that you just... <laughs> Golbat kind of uh. sucks. And I'm gonna... Go commit, that up. commit suicide now. Uh-huh. <laughs> Crobat's cool. He's really... Okay. He's, right. he's Crobat's cool. He's yeah. really fast. He's really powerful. I like mine a lot. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Go, Josh. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Number two, right? Yeah. 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 All right, my number two is kind of cheating. It's both Cyndaquil and Typhlosion. I really couldn't decide between these two. They're yeah. just so cool. Hey, yeah. it's all right. Kyle did it with uh, Ralts and Gardevoir last time. So, yep. Uh, Cynd- Cyndaquil's cute. He's got that fire coming out of his butt. Typhlosion is just badass. I seriously love these guys. I ch- choose Cyndaquil every time I replayed Gold and Silver. Growing up, as well as Heart Gold and Soul Silver, Popcorn. Who's left? Kyle, I think. Kyle. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants to pick me anymore. <laughs> Sorry. Go, Kyle. So, oh, okay. So it is my turn. Yeah. <laughs> my number two. I should have gotten up a recording and prepared it all for this. So well, I've got it in the headphones, anyways. It's wow. Yeah, man, I, I don't know. There was an episode of the anime where there was an entire town of Wobbuffets, and I love I could I for some I just I just couldn't get Wobbuffet out of my head after that. Not to mention 
he's he's got a neat concept about him with the uh, the fact that he doesn't have any actual attacks and he, he requires counter and mirror coat. <laughs> yeah, he's got to be able to predict. He's also, overpowered. Yeah, and with shadow attack, it's like, hey, I well, choose Wobbuffet to kill your guy no matter what. Yeah, I choose okay. broken. They really had a laugh also, at Sturgeon. They were like, hey, <laughs> let's make Wobbuffet just unbeatable. <laughs> <laughs> my, my favorite and thing about did. Wobbuffet is the females have lipstick. <laughs> uh, Kyle mean, hates that. He thinks it's uh-huh. stupid. Uh, it is stupid. Well, I think it's hilarious. They're, su- they're, it supposed, hilarious. they're supposed to be goofy. Like, Wobbuffet's a goofy Pokemon, so they made the female goofier. Well, isn't the, like, thing that's alive just supposed to be his tail? And, like, the, th- the actual Wobbuffet is a blow-up dummy or something? I feel I like I've... I don't remember anything about that. Well, then why does his I... mouth move when he talks? I don't know. I Are you thought I heard saying that. that Wobbuffet is a wacky waving inflatable arm flailing <laughs> too? <laughs> because I'm not okay with that. Wacky wavy inflatable arm flailing Wobbuffet. He's also emo yes. and Silverbird. Yeah. <laughs> that poor Wobbuffet needs a hug. <laughs> he should go hang out with that sl- coffee. Oh, coffee. Coffee. I almost said Soul Cake, but him and Air Dactyler bros for life. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nobody even knows what we're talking about anymore. <laughs> Just go watch our old videos before I existed. Okay. Um, that's it for number twos, right? Yep. yep. You get the pick of the litter. I choose me again. You guys Woo. do this to me again. Right. <laughs> Cheater. <laughs> number one. My number one is Heracross. For every reason Rick said when he put him down at number five or four, or I don't know, whatever it is. Four. Four. Because Heracross is awesome, he's unique, he's a boss. He's got guts. And he's a he's a friggin' awesome bug. He was one of the best guys on Ash's team when he was on the TV show. Because this is, this is when I was really watching the show, as you can tell. Well, I think we all okay. kind of fell out of it during second gen. Yeah, that was yeah. Johto was when I stopped watching. Yeah, I stopped yeah, playing until, until mid third. So. In any case, um, Rick, why don't me. you go? No popcorn me, popcorn oh. me. Oh. Okay, go. All right, my number one. I I swear I am. This this is actually my own list. I'm not taking other people's list. <laughs> Terra Cross. <laughs> <laughs> Were any of your Pokemon like only on your list? I got Lugia and Apom. <laughs> Apom was only on his list. Yeah. yeah. All right. Huh? Well, then Apom will be the usual. Right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> my number one is Heracross. Like everyone has else has said, guts. Hercules Beetle, badass. He he was cool on the show too. What what, what more could you want from Heracross? He's blue. Yeah, he's blue too. I love Beetles. Got have two bugs. Yeah. Yeah, man. He's his design is so cool. He's got that mega horn, bug fighting. That's right. When he when he uh, first started out, he was it was a unique move to him only. Yeah. And it was the only good bug, bug move. Type. <laughs> I remember I, when I when I was battling Kyle, we were little kids, and I was trying to like keep my team a secret so that he wouldn't know, so I'd be able to surprise him. And like I was like, all right, I'll tell you the moves of my Pokemon, and I put fucking Megahorn on there. I didn't know, and Kyle's like, hey, I know who that is. <laughs> it was like great. I felt like an idiot. Way to try to be slick, Ricky. Didn't work. Yeah, I know. Says, hey, hey, Megahorn. I know who that is. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Don, pick somebody. Oh, okay. All right. I choose you. Me? Josh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Josh can go. I don't care. I was asking for clarification. Uh, yeah, sorry. Sorry. I-, I had to think for a second. But I wanted <laughs> to say I choose you because, you know, that's the Pokemon thing. 
Right. Yeah. All right. So should I go? <laughs> yeah, go. All right. My number one is Lugia. Uh, <laughs> he's a serious badass. I really love this guy. Rarely do I ha- I love legendaries as much as I love this guy, except, well, you'll know next time. He's just so badass. I mean, he's so badass that he had a game based on him. I mean, sure, you can't really catch many Pokemon in that game, but he's one of them. And he also gets a probably not so canon form, which is just which looks just as cool. Wait, what? Uh, the Dark Lugia thing. Oh, okay. Fair in enough. XD. Yeah. All right. Um, popcorn. Gale of Darkness. Yeah. Popcorn Gale of Darkness. No, Popcorn Matt. Okay. Um. Mine's kind of an obvious one for some people, but probably not for others. So, for those of you out there who don't know and haven't guessed it already, my number one is Meryl. (laughs) Specifically, shiny Meryl's. Um, Meryl is just... I don't don't know. Meryl is just really cute because he's just like this round ball of lovable. That's pretty much all he is. He's got the big, like, Mickey Mouse ears and, like, the stringy ball tail thing. He was kind of supposed to be like... I guess they were going for like this gen's almost Pikachu, sort of. I guess that's what they were trying to go for. Rumors at first was that he was Pika Blue. Anybody remember Pika Blue? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that was that was the rumor at first, but it turned out to be his own thing. Meryl is just... I don't know. I've just grown such a love for this Pokemon because how cute it is and how awesome it looks when it's shiny. It's Bright green, looks like a tennis ball. Yeah, that's that's great. It looks like a tennis ball. That was, see what I did there. Anyway, I don't really know what else to say. Meryl, my second favorite Pokemon of all time is Meryl. My favorite Pokemon from this gen, number one with a bullet, as Ricky would say, was Meryl. There was nobody else who could ever have topped this list. So, go ahead, Ricky. What's your number one? No, oh, I don't know how this happened again, but I really wish I wasn't going last because I'm the ultimate anticlimax. Here. <laughs> well, mine was last time, so don't worry. My favorite Pokemon from second gen is Lugia. What do you want from me? <laughs> I just like I said earlier, when this game first came out, I had both gold and silver. I got them both, and I like turned them both on. I was like, I don't, I didn't know at that point which one I wanted to play yet. Um, like when red and blue came out, I was like, I want red because I like red more than blue because I was a tiny kid and that's how we operate. But when gold and silver came out, I was slightly older. I was slightly more, you know, less arbitrary about my selections. So I was like, all right, let's turn on both gold and silver and see, you know, I'm going to decide which one I want to play. And I looked at both of the title screens and I was like, oh, you know, this is cool. We got like a shiny chicken flying over the clouds. (laughs) And then I turned on Silver, and I was like, holy shit, I have to play this version. This is amazing. It's like this dinosaur thing flying through the night sky. I found out later it's supposed to be under the sea. I didn't know. (laughs) But at the time, I thought Lugia was the ultimate badass, and I wanted to catch him so badly. And I caught him, and he's amazing. I think he's so cool looking. And I just... He's my favorite from this gen. I don't know what you want out of me. He's... He's so sleek, and he's got spikes on his back, and he's this dinosaur-looking thing, and I just, he's awesome. And he was cool in the movie, I don't know why he could talk, but I, I was so excited to see him. I was like, man, he looks so cool. I'm, I don't even care that ho is not in this movie, because honestly, who gives a shit about ho But, like, Lugia is awesome. He's my favorite. Is he your favorite you legendary? Yeah, I would say so. That's, that's a good pick. He's a good pick. He's good, legendary. He's good. All right, that was everybody, right? Yep. All right. Was a little shout out to Don Fan. For, oh yeah. Cause, yeah. Let's face it. But <laughs> I'm a Don when, fan. <laughs> when Gen Two was just starting out, I mean, we we were just getting previews. Like Togepi, we got foreshadowed way ahead of time. And here comes the Pokemon movie. We get Meryl. We get Snubble in the short just before it. Yep. And then, Don Fan. Right at the like, beginning. Uh, the trainer Ash fights has a Don Fan, and that one has it has no voiceover explaining what it is. So no one had any fucking idea what this tire shaped elephant was. And we were like, "Holy shit! What is that? That thing is so badass!" 
Ah! And I just want to say that he deserves a shout out for being the true herald of second gen. He was pretty awesome. I, I have to admit, I, yeah. I, I do love Don Fan. But he's in he, my top ten. He didn't make my top five, unfortunately. He almost made mine, but then I decided I liked Scissor. 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 Yes. All right. So that was our Gen Two list. Join us next time when we will take on the very best. Like no one ever was. Da, 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 da. I don't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, folks. <laughs>